Suppose we have a column that's been compressed. So under ideal conditions, the end would displace by a distance v. And the force displacement curve has a linear elastic region followed by a nonlinear plastic region where the stiffness of the column gets reduced gradually. But in reality, as we know from experience, if the column is slender, in a linear elastic region, it's going to reach some critical load and the stiffness of the column is going to be reduced rapidly. So when this critical load is reached, which is PCR or P critical, the stiffness of the column or the slope of the tangent to the curve becomes zero. And after the critical load is reached, the column deflects laterally. And prior to the critical buckling load being reached, the column was in stable equilibrium. And this point here where the critical load is reached, then the stiffness of the column degrades to zero, is known as the bifurcation point, which is the point that separates stable equilibrium from unstable equilibrium. And if we take a free body of the column in unstable equilibrium, it's developed a shear force and a bending moment using our typical positive sign convention, where we cut the column from bottom to top. And you'll also have an axial force acting on this part of the column to equilibrate the vertical reaction at the pin. And now taking moments about this point, we have M plus P multiplied by the moment arm, which is the lateral deflection at this point V. And that's equal to zero. And recalling our moment curvature relation, where the bending moment is equal to the bending stiffness by the curvature, which is the second derivative of the displacement with respect to x. And we have plus PV is zero. And if we divide through by the bending stiffness, we have a second order differential equation with constant coefficients. And the solution to this equation, we have x going up the column, is equal to a constant by sine lambda x plus another constant by cosine lambda x. And lambda here is the square root of p on ei. And I encourage you to actually try to solve this ODE yourself. And now we can apply our boundary conditions so the displacement at the pin is zero. So that gives zero is equal to b. And a lateral deflection at the vertical roller at x equals l being the length of the column is also zero. So what we have is zero is equal to a sine lambda l. Now for this equation to be satisfied, lambda l must be a multiple of pi. And if we square this equation, and if we substitute for lambda squared, which is p on ei, while dividing through by l squared, so we have n squared pi squared on l squared, and then we multiply through by ei, which gives p is n squared pi squared by ei on l squared. And here n is an integral multiple of pi. So you can have different buckled mode shapes. So this one here is when n equals 1. And when n equals 2, you could have something like this, and so on. And therefore from this equation, we have p critical being the critical buckling load 
is pi squared ei on the length of the column squared. And this is the load that's applied to the column to put it on the verge of instability, where it's just about to deflect laterally. So effectively, even a lateral load that's very small can tip it into unstable equilibrium. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help me reach more students.